Now, let's go over here. We're going to follow Gerald, guys, and he's going to show us a demonstration of what, um, how to pack the earth in um, to do the ram earth here. Okay, this is the basic formwork of the rammed earth. It's, this is a small version of it. When on the real house, I'm doing uh, full sheets of plywood, so it's four feet high, okay, uh, eight feet, and then with the spacing, I'm spacing about a foot on the, on the full size form, a foot away from the end. So we have, okay. we're forming a wall that's eight foot high. There goes that skydiving plane again, flying over here. Okay, so you got this section in here. Now, does it matter how big the wall you make You could make a wall 36 inches wide if you want, and some, so if you were in a really extreme climate, yeah, you could make it that thick, and it would the heat would virtually never get past past get that. In. Okay, because also it's not only insulating; it holds heat. Yeah, it takes time, and it also you get an effect of the ground temperature moves through the wall too, so it stabilizes it. Okay, like if you're underground, except you've got ventilation. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, tied to the ground is a another feature but I take a sheet of plywood yeah and I put it on that that ledge on the fo on the footing yeah tilt it up and now does this bulge out in the middle as you're packing the dirt in there well to, pre to prevent that because it would look like it, it, it would bulge it out if you have it like eight feet long or well, four I have, feet long I have two by lumber that's why these are so long yeah I'll have a piece laying across these forms. Okay. Is a, a piece of uh, so you pretty much two put by a rib. ten, two by eight lumber. Yeah, they call them whalers, but they're ribs. Yeah. And that not only keeps it from bowing, it makes real nice steps to get up in there. Because once we're done with the first wall section, I add another sheet of plywood. Oh, okay. And then we get the full eight foot. So you don't remove the, the, the molding or the form here? Not on, no. We leave that in place. And then the forms, you just have a spacer. And then you level it. Yeah. And have these uh, two by uh, ribs to keep it from bowing. Yeah. And also with a little trick, uh, the developer David Easton of this system is we put a little wedge in here. Yeah. So that when we're done, we knock the wedge out and that releases it. Okay. And right when we're done, we take the forms off. Okay. Now, can you just use the soil that we're standing on right now or do you have to dig deep uh, and get down below the topsoil or something? To well, you don't it? want to use good organic topsoil. That's for your gardens. Okay. So, but here, we really don't have topsoil out here. Yeah. So you could pretty much use any of this soil and you'd get it slightly damp and just pack it in there and keep going. Okay. Okay. And then um, once you get that done, now how much earth does it take to, to build your uh, uh, earth and uh, your rammed earth house? Well, we... Because uh, you, you dug two pits back there behind your, your house. Yeah, the first one was we got 90%, and then I actually dug another bit just for uh, those columns. Oh, okay, so those columns came afterwards. Right. Okay. So you'd actually have to, you know, you could calculate when the earth is in the ground. That's yeah. compacted. Yeah. So you basically would calculate the thickness of your walls by the length, and then you would get the, Let's take a walk back over there. And do, do you want to see the, uh, maybe we'll go down to the hole where I got the earth so you can yeah. sort of get, see the magnitude of... Uh, yeah, let's do that. So, uh, the, so, so let, let me ask you this. What about the people that don't want to spend the money or do not have the money for the, for the, um, the cement? Can they do it with just the... Um, well, we're, we're an earthquake country. Yeah. So it has to be uh, extra strong. Yeah. And so here's like, the here's the hole where you. Uh, mm -hmm. 
So we are now standing inside the pit or the hole that you dug out to build your house, to build your ram to earth house. Yeah, I got a backhoe and I just started digging and piling it up on each side until I got down to bedrock and couldn't dig anymore and then I just sort of went sideways. Okay. And this, uh, this was designed to, since you had a hole in the ground, yeah. that you try to be synergistic of using one thing to do multiple purposes. This was not only the source of uh, the house. earth building material, but it was uh, a pond to uh, harvest water. Okay, and then once you put the dirt in, uh, I noticed that you got the heavy tamper here. I've got, yeah, I have this. This is a tamper, that's an old axle. Yeah. Wood you, you're tamper. really like recycling everything around yeah, here, huh? Yeah, wood tampers are pretty traditional. They, they're not as heavy. And it's not just pushing it. That part of the process is you go, you really work it. Okay. Because each bit of vibration gets the particles of the soil to, to settle get in together and okay. link up. And that little tiny bit of cement will form crystals that bond all the particles strongly together. And I'll, let me show you the tool that uh, we didn't do it all hand work. If, if, if you don't have any much money. Oh, that's the... Uh, this is the tamper. Okay. That's pretty heavy, huh? Yeah, this is way heavier than the one that uh, you had out there. Yeah, and this this packs it. This yeah, packs it real well. Okay. And when I started the house, I had trouble uh, getting tired. I'd get tired going across the yard. Uh, yeah. Um, had trouble uh, lifting a sheet of plywood, but I got into into shape. And the challenge of building the house uh, not only uh, got the house built, it got me built. <laughs> it worked you out, huh? So all you needed was one tamper. For the to build the entire house, mm -hmm. you know there's a um, there's a uh, guy. Uh, his name is uh, Renoa Super Genius on YouTube. I think this would be a heaven for him because he likes to to tinker with a lot of stuff that people throw away. He likes to take it and recycle it and make all kinds of neat stuff out of it, like you do here. And then you take the forms off me and one other person could often do two walls a day. And that's uh, four foot long? Uh, eight, uh, six foot wide, eight foot tall. Eight foot tall? Oh, okay. Once we were getting into it, we could, we could uh, turn them out and that's two people. So a crew could really build a small house in a few days. Hey, uh, if you guys like this type of video, please uh, give us a thumbs up on it. And if you don't like it, give me a thumbs down so that I'll know uh, not to waste time making more of these videos. And um, yeah. if you can, you know, uh, subscribe to the uh, channel. And I'll look forward to seeing you guys in the next video with Gerald here. I noticed there's a bunch of fire ants here or wh wh whatever kind of ants these are. Uh, they're pretty big compared to the ones that I normally see in Texas. Yeah, they're, they're mellow ants. They, they are. They can bite you, but so what? Uh...